Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Aha, there it is. The Shroom Light Ruins. Oh, oh, the banner's still there. Okay, all right. So a few episodes, we made this dungeon for the hermits. And I made it available to some of you early on the Patreon and those of you that are YouTube members here. Now, I want to kind of show you spoilers I want to show you since it's been completed a couple times now I want to show you a little bit of the thought process when I made it I couldn't talk much about it because I didn't want to spoil the prize there's the prizes the goal is to traverse this ruins and find a way to get up there without using elytra tango was the first one to find it and he was the first one to, uh, he kind of figured it out exactly how I was hoping he would figure it out. So, ideally, you say, oh, there's the banner, I'm going in the tower. And you go in, and then you come up here, and do this not-so-easy jump over to there. Because I don't hate myself, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> so you see then, that there's no way to get up here. There should be something here, a button. So, I have a clue for that. Quickly, let me down. In case people weren't able, people that played the map weren't able to put two and two together, I have over here, maybe I should have made this a little more exposed, a button moving an iron trap door is kind of a clue, and it's a warped button, because over here is a wood place with warped wood. So, you know, you check these things, and oh, no, 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 no. so it's a little bit of a puzzle and a parkour. So then, you should think, okay, something around here, ladder, right here shows that there's a way up and then you feel like okay I gotta get on the roof that's where this annoying thing comes in this is difficult making this little uh, weird turn right here is not fun trust me B-dubs did all these jumps <laughs> believe it or not we're just gonna go like this this is the hardest part right here you're supposed to I did it first perfect try you're supposed to this is a little RNG being able to get on this little ledge from down there I was hoping That the only way up on the roof you can see barrels there is from jumping from here to here You can jump here. I guess But the goal was to be able to jump and get on that and you can do it But I think they found that you can jump over to here. Yeah and up to there and onto the roof from here. And in here are the buttons that you need. Aha. Uh -huh. As I said, spoilers, but most people I think have already kind of figured things out in here. So that gets you the button to get up to the next level. Once you're up here, a little bit of a checkpoint thing. You can flip the lever and then you, you don't have to do that uh, weird thing anymore. Then you get in here and it gets real. This is where the real parkour kings show, show themselves. So, this jump from here to here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not an easy one, let me tell you. Some kids call this a Neo. There, I did it flawless. And then you see this obsidian, you go, blast. How am I supposed to get that? Back down you go. Start from scratch. So you're meant to explore more. Where are you supposed to explore? Down in the mines. Down here. Oh, yes. Looks like everything's still good. Yeah, and then this frustrating jump right here, which I just did with these, as you can see. And then you go around here, you get some things, you see, oh, rails. Oh, right, oh, interesting. Okay, these are supposed to resemble like shovels or pickaxes, mining the shroom lights. And then, well, you know what, let's get one. I'll show you, I'll show you guys the trick, okay? You get in here, and you get, please take one, a mine cart. Aha! Uh -huh. I can jump, yes! So with that minecart and this track, you're supposed to, and this is where I had a little bit of a mistake, where I, I put a lot of them. <laughs> I put a lot of minecarts, and it would have made the whole thing very easy. You just minecart your way all the way up. Uh, so I, I, I named them, please take one now. <laughs> so you could only take one. This is a frustrating jump as well. Right here, over to the ladder! But basically, when I was making this, I, I had to do all of these things myself to make sure they were doable. And I thought, you know what? If B-dubs can do it, and if it's a little bit hard for me, it's a good level of difficulty. But once you're up here, 
I'm cheating a little bit. Once you're up here, there's a little back and forthy, and now it starts getting scary because you're way up here. You have to, ooh, ooh, ooh. You have to either go there or there. Both very difficult jumps, but if you back way up and you, hoo-yah, and you make it up here and up here perfectly, you can, believe it or not, reach these and knock them down. So that, that, that's kind of the, the thought process that went into this. And, uh, man, the hermits, they, they did a good job. It was pretty fun watching Tango do that. And I know, uh, I think False also did it. And I think Pearl as well. I'm not positive, but I think Pearl as well did it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm, I'm keeping the banners stocked up there in case any other hermits want to do it. Getting dark outside. But as you can see, hold on. As you can see, I've got my ceremonial robes on because we need to give Tango his prize. Tango was the first to retrieve the banners, so I'm going to have him meet me under the tree of whimsy to give him his prize. Now, before he gets here, we have a little cleanup to do. There are a lot of Easter eggs hidden all over the base. And, 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 and uh, I made the mistake. I made Vita made a big mistake. You know, my base was fairly, it's fairly easy. Aha, I found, yes. Where did that go? Is that upstairs? Did that go up? Aha, it went upstairs. I found falses. But there's not a lot of places to hide. You know, I can easily check behind here and then, you know, look in chests and see if they're hidden inside chests and stuff. But, you know, now somebody made us this wonderful, awesome contraption basement. And I think this has created a lot of hiding spots. <laughs> so, uh, there's a skeleton down here. I'm out of here. Aha, watch this. Watch right here where the spider, or no, where the cyan die is when I let go. Watch. Aha, I see you in there, Pearl. Aha! I got it! Yes! Oh, uh -huh. you think you're so tricky? Is there one here? No. Okay. So I did check the dun <laughs> I did check down in our base monte. And I I'm not going down there. There's a lot of hiding spots. And I'm not checking them. I I I, I there's no way I'm going down there. It's too risky. But all through here I didn't see anything. I don't think anybody came down here or knows the secret of putting the candle out to get in so i can't find the other ones i found 11 out of 18 18 eggs i only found 11 not too good oh yes what a perfect redstone contraption someone else made anyway later today <laughs> we're gonna go we're making another dungeon today we're at least going to start the big majority of it. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. I've already have a, pick, a spot picked out, but business is business first. We have to give Tango his major reward. Now, I have a plan. He's going to be coming over soon. I'm going to disrobe and disembark. Now watch this. Actually, I've got a good spot. Check this out. Try to find me. You can't. I was right here. Look at this. Is this not a good disguising cloak? Literally cloak technology. I love it. Okay. Let's see if he can find us. Wait, where is he at? <laughs> where is he at? I'm here. -dubs. I'm, I'm actually here. Oh! <laughs> you should have stayed there. I would have not found you for about 20 minutes. That's brilliant. <laughs> it was me the whole time. Tango. This mm -hmm. is your special day and your special oh. moment. Well, first of all, uh -huh. wait a second. <laughs> the yeah, job killing me. The job was for you to uh -huh. reclaim my banners. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. You mean raise my Yes, that's that what banner? I needed. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This brings they back They were not memories. easy to get. No, no. Right. In return for this, mm -hmm. I will grant you a prize. <gasps> now, this prize must be forged only over a shroom light. And 
It is forged. <gasps> nah. No peeking. No peeking. No, wait, there's a ceremony. There's a ceremony. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Kneel before me. Okay. All right. Take off oh. your take off your hat and respect. Oh. Yes. I'm kneeling. And I dub thee. I'm so excited. The Parkour <gasps> King Ooh. of the Server! <laughs> yeah, baby! Look at and, this! Yes! I'm a unicorn or something! No, 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 no! <laughs> it's much cooler than a unicorn! Oh, oh, does that does that red pointy bit like is that uh, is that metaphorical or is that the the symbology of your tower with the banners at the top? That was my former banner upon mm. the top of yes, this mm -hmm. is this is reminiscent. Oh. This was a crown forged in the <gasps> actual stone of the so ruins. Good. Oh, to amazing. resemble the ruins. Yes. I love yes. it. I, I especially like how it's a little bit crooked and derpy, like it doesn't quite fit. Just kind of off the okay, side. Okay, not derpy, but cool. If you were a cool oh. king, wouldn't you kick it to the oh. side a little bit? Oh, I'll kick it to the side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is amazing. I'm never taking this off. Wear your crown with pride and rub oh, it in yes. everybody else's face. I, obviously. They're going to ask where they get it. I'm going to just say I'm the champion parkour. Yeah, that's right. The king. Who would have thought Tango Tech would be the best parkour master on the server? Surely he is. Anyway, wonderful job to him. We have awarded him his prize. Now, it's time to head off. Is there any more Easter eggs around? It's time to head off far into the distance. Where shall we go? I can't tell you. It's a secret. The big part of my business is that I'm going to be selling clues to locations from here. I'm going to make a clue shop under the tree of whimsy. So I got to black out the screen. You can't see. You guys are not allowed to see which way I'm going. I'm headed this way. Take a guess what direction that is. Just kidding. Maybe I'm headed. Just don't don't look at at, at this. While B-Dubs is taking his long or short trip out to the new dungeon location, let's take a quick commercial break. What in the world are you doing? Well, I I'm safely browsing the web from inside this tunnel. Well, that ain't how it works. If you're like me, you're going to use ExpressVPN to utilize its best-in-class encryption. Whenever you're connected to ExpressVPN, every piece of data going in and out of your device goes through a secure encrypted tunnel and cannot be seen. Not by the government, not by hackers, and not by your internet service provider. And not even ExpressVPN. Well, I know this at least protects me from people getting my IP address. Wrong again! Every device has a unique IP address which can be traced back to you. When you use ExpressVPN, your connection gets routed through one of their 3,000 plus servers, hiding your real IP address and replacing it with one of their own. So don't be like this guy, be like me. And check out the link in the description or go to expressvpn.com slash bdubs to get three months free. And touchdown! We have arrived at our location. Shush! Don't look don't even look around to, to find clues. Or anything. Because I got, I ain't gonna make no money. Tango found the last one without even paying for a hint. I ain't gonna make no money. Now, I have a lot of resources here. All of them in kind of the gray variety. Even, look at all these stacks of punk, honk, punk, pretty patter. Bunch of gray wool as well. This is because we're going to really play with gradients on the look of this thing. Oh, it's going to be... This build that we're going to do is going to be much bigger. Much, much bigger than the last one that we did. Eh, but I think it's going to be cool. Gradients, of course. You know, those have been the hot thing with builders over the last year. We're going to play with them but in a diff different way. You know, the standard gradient has just been, you know, dark on bottom. Work your way to the light up top. That's not realistic. There's some realistic things we can do with gradients. So, let me do a little bit of building so we may discuss. So I've done a lot of digging. So much so that I'm probably going to have to go back and repair my pick. But, I don't usually deep dive my build thoughts very much. 
like the process that goes into the builds that I make here on Hermitcraft. Usually I save that for building with B double O, uh, my single player world. D I deep dive a little more, but this is so interesting and I'm so obsessed with this right now that I think it's worth talking about. So the gradients. This is just a rough gradient of what I'm going to be using uh, for, for colors in this build. And I've got a, a gradient world on my Patreon. It's not updated with these Blackstone blocks, but you can kind of, you know, figure it out from there. These are the colors we're going to use. Now I left, I carved this huge section out and I got to carve out probably this whole thing as well. <laughs> That's fun. I left this big square here so we can kind of talk about how this gradient can be used in a better way than just going dark to light. Once we get this build up, you're going to see a lot of these examples, but it'll be much easier to explain here. So, flat wall. We can use these blocks, this gradient, to create shadows and highlights for that matter. But if we go like this and we just lay this out, this is something that happens in Minecraft vanilla. You put that block there. This block looks lighter than the one below it because of the shadow. If you don't want to go super deep and stuff, you can create a shadow and make it look like there's depth there. Let me show. Up close, it looks a little strange. It looks just like a, maybe a patchwork quilt, and this might not be... This, this process takes a lot of back and forth in from B-dubs, but if we step way back at a distance... Hello, llamas! Oh, don't look around. And from a distance, there you go. You see, aha, from this tree will be good. From a distance, you really do feel like, oh, right there, there's this ledge is overhanging this. It kind of gives that feeling of depth. So you can create depth on a flat wall. Make a flat wall look really cool. And then other areas like below windows where there might be a little discoloration or color change or something like that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love it. If we can say there's a little crease right there, you'll see. You'll see once we div dive into this thing. But all of these colors, I think, work really well with stone. So that's kind of just the bare bones basic example of where the texturing is going to come from on this build. The shapes and all that stuff, maybe we'll talk about that a little later. But I think now I just have to do a lot more digging and probably a couple pickaxe repairs. But uh, got to clean this up and start building this beauty. Well, everybody, we did it. It's me down here. This is a super zoomed in view. Look, <laughs> a B-dubs for scale. Let's just pull all the way out. Yikes. Look at, okay, I'm going to, we're going to do a test. I'm going to slowly, well, no, I'm going to as fast as I can walk towards you. When you see how long it's taking me, does it, do you get a sense of the scale? When you see, it's like when you see a spaceship go up to the Death Star, you see, oh, yes, that's very huge. Is that crazy or what? I'm still not there yet. I'm still just down here. Very nice camera work, McCrameran. Oh, yes. Oh, this was a grind and a half. B-dubs went a little ham bone on this thing. But now you can see what I was talking about. Sometimes B-dubs talks about things like, oh, texturing and stuff like that. It doesn't make sense until you see it actually happening. Now, <laughs> this thing is, it, it's, uh, 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 it was huge. It was one of my bigger projects I've, I've ever done because not only did we make this gate, but we also, I made the landscape around it. Uh-oh, got to get those chests out of there. But because, <clears throat> but because I'm so obsessed with this, uh, this texturing thing and, and using the blocks as paint colors, I, I we, there's some things, there's some things I want to point out. So it looks like there's a lot of depth, right? I'm going to change this to a white world, everything will be white, and you'll see how little depth there actually is in this thing. Look at that. Look at this. There's no textures anywhere. Everything's just white. But it, you can see, it's just flat. These columns, there's no rim right here. It's just flat. This whole door, flat, flat, flat. 
The only jut outs are right here. Is that not nuts? But when we use all those different blocks, look specifically right here when I switch back. It looks like that that's like a bump out. Like there's different levels of blocks there, but it's just, these are flush. But it's a dark block next to a light block. So it makes it look like that ring is going all the way around. And this, this uh, villager type guy, villager with a helmet on, there's different types of blocks. It's just a flat thing. The whole door, flat. So this, uh, the door kind of came out with this like cross hatch type of design in it. And it's just deep slate and cobbled deep slate. Look at this close up. It's just boom, 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 boom. Regular deep slate facing that way and then cobbled deep slate. Is that not insane? I love, I mean, Vito, this is a new day. It's like I got a brand new toy to play with and I might have played with it a little too much, you know? <laughs> it's maybe a little too over textured, but I love it. I'm so happy. Now, let's look on the inside. Here we go. We're going inside and Yes, nothing, nothing yet. That was my prank. That's my big reveal prank. Uh, haven't done the inside yet. Oh, will I? Yes, I have plans and I, 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 that, that won't take me long. And by won't take me long, I mean, it's going to take seven days full, full, nonstop seven days full. But, uh, I've got plans for this. I've got it pretty much planned out. I just need to execute and build it. It's going to be awesome. And of course I can't tell you exactly what it is we also ouch if i had infinite resources and uh infinite time i would have probably pushed this thing back into the mountain a little more but instead i mean i i went through a lot of picks carving all this out this mountain came all the way out to here uh i just to set it in i just made these new custom cliffs right here you got this is a stony peaks i think oh we got to get this thing out of here there, that clears things up a little bit. Now, but so I built these mountains, just little peaks, you know, they're nothing super crazy or anything to kind of make it feel like it's more set, inset into the area. There's one last thing that would make things pretty easy. Is my inner chest here? Where's my inner chest? Oh, bone meal. <laughs> just bone meal. It, it's kind of a standard, like, easy. Like, change something from looking man-made. Make it to the top. Yes. Wonderful job. Change it from looking man-made to uh, feeling like it's part of the terrain. So if we just bone meal a little bit, get these flowers out of here, you know, this is important. Don't put those. There's not many flowers out here in the Sahara. 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 Much better. Grass all over the place. That sets it in real nice. Feels good. Now, we don't tell anybody where we are. Obviously, it's in a Sahara. But, that's all you can say. Then you can't even say that. I have to sell that clue. If you guys spoil it, I won't make any money. But now I think we should head back. We should head back to the Tree of Whimsy. And set up... Oh, I gotta bring all this material back. Oh, We gotta set up how we're, what, what we're gonna do for these clues to find this place. All right, headed over to my storage system real quick because I need to get something. Blackstone, yes. Can't you make buttons out of blackstone? Wait, do you have to make this the polished and then? Aha, yes, I genius. We're gonna use this blackstone for a science project. I have an idea and I wanna include you guys in this because I'm open to suggestions. So all these dungeons, we're going to... I'm trying to make them hard to find so people will pay money to find them. Right? That's the goal. But last one was too easy. This one, going to be difficult. So I want to sell clues here. And I want to sell different tiers of clue. So for example, let's say this is a medium tier. That kind of looks like... That, that blends in. Kind of. This is medium tier. So you come to the Tree of Whimsy. And you pay for a mid-tier clue. May I'll have to be here, you know, of course. And I would say, Tree of Whimsy, tell us where the large gate is. Hit the button, mid-tier clue, Tree of Whimsy, shoot out. And what could it be? Aha. <gasps> uh -huh. 
a plus sign and a minus sign. Are they in the right order? Who knows? What a clue could it could be? Boy, that was worth 20 diamonds. Notice the price. Very high pricing. I mean, you could potentially walk out of these dungeons with tons of diamonds. So I gotta, you know, I gotta bump the price up quite a bit. But then, you know, I could hide these, several of them. I could hide one right in here as well. Oh, Tree of Whimsy, we've got a cheapskate here that's not paying very much. They only paid 10 diamonds for a clue. What is the clue you offer? Oh, aha, the Tree of Whimsy shot something out. What does it say? Far. Far distance away. I think that's what, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not me, that's, uh, I don't want to steal diamonds, you know. Well, I think, I think that's what we do. That feels good. The Tree of Whimsy giving us some clues. But B-Dub's going to have to go get some netherite. <laughs> yes. I have to go, nah, before next episode, I have to go get netherite. Because I want to make lodestones and lodestone compasses. Basically... You could get a compass that would lead you to the lodestone, right? That's how those things work. So we could put do like a breadcrumb trail, breadcrumb trail with the um, whoops, <laughs> breadcrumb trail with the compasses, which I think that could work out pretty great as well. So next episode, I'll have the inside of the dungeon finished. Maybe somebody has found it and we can tour it together. And we're gonna we gotta go netherite hunting. Blah, blah. It'll be fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death, and we'll see you in the next episode.